Hey, everybody. It's a beautiful Friday, April the 30th. It's National Hairstyles Appreciation Day. And it's time for the Wise Guys and Girl, sponsored by Kmart, the best in defunct retail. As always, let's start with Sir and the weather. A fantastic Friday indeed. Bit of a break from the rain, currently 8 degrees, which is our high for the day. Uh, we will get down to 7 under a mix of sun and cloud and a bit of a blustery day and more rain on the way this weekend. And uh, time for a random shout out to the lawn. Looking green as ever, it's nature's carpeting. And frankly, I don't care where the dog pees. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> Interesting that the uh, grass matches the trees. How about that? How about that? Well, the grass is not always greener after the pup. No, no, we found that out the hard way for sure. <laughs> well, on National Hairstylist Appreciation Day, we honor all the barbers and barbaras out there who make artful hairstyles possible. A shout out also to army barbers, who are the ones who will shave privates. A talented hairstylist will not only make you look good, but make you feel good. Now, during the lockdown, many have turned into being Uber drivers, uh, and they're really good at it because they know all the shortcuts. Out of the last lockdown, my barber wanted me to sign a long-term service agreement before giving me a haircut, uh, but I didn't. I couldn't accept all those terms and conditioners. Hey, do you know what the difference is between an angry circus owner and a Roman barber? One is a raving showman, and the other is a shaving Roman. <laughs> I was just letting hair start. <laughs> All right, it is time for tunes with Tamik. Tamik, what are we listening to today? Are you going with Penny Lane? No, no, I'm gonna go with something else. But shout out to the hairstylists that have been on lockdown. I, how long has it been for them? Because they in Peel, in Toronto, I don't think hairdressers. They've been shut down almost the entire time we've been... They were back for a short uh, chunk. Like a couple of uh, weeks. Right? Yeah. Otherwise, my hair would be like Mark's. Well, not quite. Really? Not as nicely <laughs> coiffed or as bountiful, but... <laughs> really, I missed the window of opportunity. Now, yeah, you would definitely have that Willie Nelson one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for all the girls you've loved before, sir. <laughs> Shout out to all of them who are still trying to, you know, make it work in, in, during this time. But the person I'm shouting out is actually Willow Smith. Um, she actually just recently came up with a new song, but she, when she started at the age of 10, I don't know if you remember, she sang a song called I Whip My Hair Back and Forth. Do you remember this? Mark, don't even try it. <laughs> actually, Katie and I had another song for you to sing on air. Uh, the, uh, the rip box, you know, hair toss. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But it was so cool because, I mean, at the time, she's, I think she had braids in her hair. Um, but as I, you know, as a little black girl, especially, to be honest, um, hair is a big deal. Um, how we wear our hair as black women is a big deal. There are jobs that some of us can't get because of how we wear our hair still in 2020 okay and these are even in countries that are predominantly black right so for whatever reason when you're black and you have hair it is a political statement when you wear it the way it grows out of your head right um but it was actually really cool for her um to be a young black girl at the age of 10 to come out and sing that song and basically say look i do what i want with my hair I do how I want to do it. Everybody has the right to wear it how they want to wear it. Do what you want to do. Like that was actually a really powerful statement. It doesn't feel like it is, but given the context, it's a huge statement um, to kind of just be yourself. And then after that, famously, um, she was, I guess, frustrated with her parents because she's like, I really love the song, but I'm not trying to do an album and go on tour at the age of 10. And she shaved her head. <laughs> so, wow. yeah. But shout out to the stylists that really who keep us going, right? Who, you know, because hair is a big deal and, and and it tells us a lot, I guess, how we feel in that moment. I see Mark in such a different way now. His hair was so different before and now it's like, oh, 
Now I'm trying to remember what Mark looked like with the other hair. I never used it. And your hair used to be way longer than this before too, right, Mark? Like this. So I just think it's incredible how hair really does make a difference and kind of changes the way you approach a person, maybe even changes the way the person feels about themselves. So whoever you are, whip that hair back and forth, enjoy your life. And when you when you finally get to go to your barber or your hairstylist again, pay them homage, give them thanks for really helping you to cultivate whatever version of yourself you want to present to the world. So that's my pick for today, Willow Smith, with my hair back and forth. Right on. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Great thoughts, too. All right, it is time for Ventures with Venturo. Venturo, what's up this weekend? Ah, uh, this weekend is looking like a weekend to just stay inside. Mark, thanks so Mark. <laughs> I don't make it, I just report it. <laughs> All right, but I got two uh, movie picks for you guys in keeping with today's theme. Uh, the first one is The Barbershop, right? It's a, it's a series of three movies that you can you can go check out starring Ice Cube. And the other one is uh, is called The Beauty Shop starring Queen Latifah. So uh, just paying respect to those hairstylists and, and just honoring them, right? Um, pity though, I'm losing all my hair, so... I don't know. They can't help. <laughs> I thought I thought you were joining me in the army. That's what I put it down. <laughs> Laying a good foundation. Yeah, but finally, just want to give give you guys an update on my 21 day vegan challenge. It's actually day 21, right? Yes. Yay. Uh, well done. Managed to stick with it. Um, feeling feeling okay. Uh, one of the reasons why I started it was I was having some issues with my stomach in the nights when I went to sleep. It's like my stomach was awake, but I was sleeping. Right. And it, my stomach would wake me up in the nights, but I'm feeling okay right now. Um, so it's going well. I think I might continue it for some more time. Yeah, so. other, than, other than losing your hair, it's going to be the other side effects. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other side is the side effect is that I'm also losing some weight, Paul. So. Oh, no, that's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you lost a lot of hair then. If you're just in fact weight. <laughs> uh, All right, that's it from me, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, it is Friday. Time for Friday's joke of the week. Yeah. No, speaking of uh, barbers, the last time I was finally able to get into mine, I said, hey, like, can you do my hair in the style of uh, Tom Cruise? And he goes, yeah, no problem. Bangs out the old clippers and everything. I like in the mirror. Nothing close. And I go, I, think, I, I said, I wanted it like Tom Cruise. And he goes, hey, if Tom Cruise came in here, his hair would look exactly like yours. <laughs> 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 oh, hey, and we're adding another dollar to the skillet for next week. Good carryover. That's amazing. Thanks, Venturo. That is it for us, everybody. Uh, thanks for hanging with us. Have a great Friday and a great weekend. We are the wise guys and girl, leaving you smarter and happier than you were yesterday. <laughs> <laughs>